Welcome Listen back. to me, you bastards. Now that we this is not going to be a very software. fun time. Now it's time to install But if it is machine. fine, then so I will be the first to, to let you know. Open up FileZilla. You should have it. I'm clicking on the start menu. You should have it either pinned to the start menu or you'll find it in all programs and you're looking for the client. Okay. So I'm going to click on FileZilla. This is very important for you to get right now. Now, the host is is the IP address and this is how you're going to connect to the file server 209.189.201.186 username is BIT125 remember this is case sensitive so be very careful how you type it in password is capital C A dollar sign C A D I A. I will spell that out for you just shortly. Port 22. Now, for those who may be curious, I'm going to spell it out in Notepad. Watch. Password is capital C A dollar sign C A D I A. Cascadia, except you use a dollar sign instead of an S. Got it? I'm, now I can close this. No. Now, I want to connect. Command. First thing I'm going to know, okay, that this is an encrypted server, so you want to accept the key. Yeah, always trust this host. Click OK. Password's in. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you can I'm going to pull this down just a little bit there's two files you're gonna want this file which is the hard disk and this file which is the console now you can do it one of two ways on this side is your C drive now I can either a make a folder over here on this side first and drop it inside of that folder or I can just merely pull it over to the C drive uh, like this and like this and then move it into a folder at a later time so this will the speed of this will det be determined by uh, what sort of internet connection you have alright so now you just have to wait and get both of those files and as you wait to get both of those files I uh, will take you to the next step. Now that I have successfully uh, downloaded and completed installation of my hard disk and my virtual console, now for convenience sake, I am going to put these files into a folder uh, so that I can keep track of them. So I'm just going to right click out here, give myself a new folder, and I'm going to call this folder Red Hat 9. Uh, I can put a point one on it okay great now I'm going to just highlight both of these files and drop them inside of this folder great now I know that on the C drive I have a folder with the hard drive and that console inside of it I'm gonna close this window now I'm gonna start my virtual machine okay virtual PC starts up it says welcome to new virtual machine it doesn't have a virtual machine so it's gonna wanna know well what do you wanna do well you have three options the first option is to install a virtual machine if you were going to do a brand new installation from the CDs that's included with the book and that is an option you can do as well however what I would suggest you do is add a virtual machine and you got it the one you're gonna add is the one you just download so I am going to browse to it it is located on the C drive I know because I put it there in a folder called Red Hat 9 notice I dropped I got the virtual console I am going to click OK and you also notice that the next thing it's it found a hard drive which is also located in that same folder now one other thing I want to point out is the memory notice I only have 256 megabytes allocated for this particular virtual machine so I think that because I have almost two gigs I can give myself a little bit more to that virtual machine 
Theoretically, the more RAM you allocate to the virtual machine, the better it runs. Theoretically, that's not always true. All right, click OK. Now the only thing left to do is, I've got it here, is to just click Start. And notice that it comes up. It's 512 megabytes of RAM. And my installation process is about to start. All I can just hit enter. And the kernel's uncompressing. And my operating system is starting to install. Now all I have to do is wait through it to go through all the system checks before I can actually log in. Great. Now that you've successfully installed, you should notice uh, a field that looks very similar to this. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and log in and the account that's created for you is first one is called C Gilway. C G I L L A Y enter. Password is password. P A S S W O R D. Remember, Linux is case sensitive. So you will definitely have to type it correctly or you would have nothing but problems. Okay, now I'm going to do ls dash la. That's going to show me what's all in C Gilway's home, home directory. Now, um, I could show you more, but we'll save that for later. Uh, by the way, let me tell you what root's password is. Root has all of the power. And root is the administrator on the account, and that's R O O T. And what you do actually is you go S U for switch user, and that's all you have to type. Um, and it's going to say, well, what is root's password? Password for root is capital C A dollar sign C A D I A. Does it sound familiar? Great. Now I'm going to do L S dash L A and it shows me that uh, I am still in uh, that directory and now the only difference is you notice at the prompt it's root when I was logged in to see Gile it was actually C uh, Gile was there and I think you're ready to begin now I'm just gonna get out exit exit and I'm out just like that now Happy selling.